SCA Minhag of the Week, Life Cycles, Berit Milah. As we continue speaking about the Berit Milah ceremony, last time we spoke about Sinead Eliyahu Hanavi, the Pizmonim that are being sung while it's being passed around, the auctioning off of this tray. But what else is going on? What's going on outside this room where the Berit Milah is going to take place? We move into the room where the mother is, the mother of the newborn child, with her newborn son, the grandmothers are there, some aunts are there, some other uh, elderly female relatives may be there with her as well. They're waiting, waiting for that moment where they're told it's time for the Brit Mila ceremony to begin and to bring in the baby. Now, you would expect the mother to be bringing in her own child, but that's not our custom. The mother stays put. In the old days, the mother was still considered weak and regaining her strength she was probably even in bed um, and she wouldn't even be standing up nowadays you know the women are much more much more agile and much more energetic and they can get up and be there but it's also possibly emotionally disturbing to have the mother of the child there witnessing her son going through the procedure of a bit milah so the custom has remained that the mother of the child is not there Rather, it's the grandmother that is given this job. The grandmothers, both the paternal grandmother and the maternal grandmother, are honored with the job, if you will, of bringing in the newborn child to present him for the Berit Milah. So for the first baby boy, it's usually the paternal grandmother, second baby boy, the maternal grandmother. Then it could switch off like that, or it could be honored and given to other elderly women or other women as well as the need may call for. In any case, what happens? So the women have been preparing the child, making sure that he's dressed properly and he's laid carefully on a very, very uh, soft, uh, high white pillow usually to bring him in. It makes it much more comfortable when the Mila is going on. When they're given the signal, the baby comes in, the grandmother will put on a white lace scarf over her head and draped down onto her shoulders and this is a very old custom going back to Spain this white lace scarf is called a mantilla and it's an ancient custom in Spain not only among the Jews but among people in Spain among other religions as well and this is probably the only vestige of this minhag that remains from Spain that women did over there for religious ceremonies that we still have among us, that the women are doing a custom, following a practice that was done in Spain, and they're still doing it today, specifically with this white lace scarf, the mantilla, for a religious ceremony, in our case, for the Berit Mila. The grandmother wears this. She comes in carefully as she enters the Kahala singing Yigdad Elohim Hai, which represents the 13 uh, tenants of faith as per Harambam, Maimonides, were bringing the boy to enter the faith, and that's why it's appropriate to sing this. As that finishes off, everybody rises and starts singing together, Baruch Habba V'Shem Adonai, welcome in the name of God, and the grandmother walks in all the way to the place of the Berit Mila and hands the child on the pillow, pillow and all, to the father of the child, the Abihabin, to begin the Biri Mila ceremony.